Hey, good morning. It's Michael Jackson, former Seattle Seahawks linebacker, number 55, in your program, number one in your hearts. Finishing up our draft for fantasy football, first annual for the Seattle Seahawks alumni, I was able to get Matt Ryan quarterback. I was also able to get a tight end, Owen Daniels. Running backs, Arian Foster, Reggie Bush, and Trent Richardson. I was able to grab a couple of wide receivers as well. Randall Cruz, his name is not Randall Cruz, it's Randall Cobb, Victor Cruz, and Eric Decker. Those are my winning lineups to start the season out. We're going to see what happens. You keep your eye out because I'm coming for you, baby. I'm coming for you. Let's explain my draft choices. Aaron Foster running back for the Houston Texans. First of all, I don't care that he didn't play much in the preseason. That just means that there's going to be less wear and tear on him down the rest of the, of the year. So if the Texans decide early in the season not to give him the ball, he's going to be stronger down the stretch. And that's where you go to win the games, down the stretch, baby. It's how you finish, not how you start. Eric Decker. Okay, okay, I know. Wes Walker. But here's the thing. Welker's a little guy who gets some catches and some yards. Decker's a big guy who can go up and get it. So I can accept a few less catches as long as I get some end zone targets. See, this isn't a PPR league. I can accept that. Matt Ryan, quarterback. Okay, I refuse to call him Matty Ice, but I still like the guy. He's got great receivers. Let's start with the ageless Tony Gonzalez. And then he's got a new feature back, Steven Jackson. It's not unreasonable to expect Matty to throw for 4,500 yards and 35 touchdowns. Oh, yeah, I did say that. Yes, I did. 4,500 yards and 35 touchdowns. Look for it this year, baby. It's coming. Owen Daniels. Okay, I guess I like Texans. But he's been pretty much a safe pick every year of fantasy football. And if... Foster starts to struggle and the Texans have to start throwing short. That means I score. Ah, no brainer. Randall Cobb. This year I'm hoping he becomes Aaron Rodgers' favorite receiver. He's so explosive every time he touches the ball that the Packers even hand it to him time and time again. Here, so here's what I'm expecting this year. The true top tier receivers were gone. So Randall was really, for me, one of the best available receivers. That's why I picked. One of my more interesting picks was Reggie Bush, the running back. So I was looking for a backup, and I figured, well, why not? He's on a new team, got a quarterback that throws it around, and he's a great edge runner still. What I need from him is for him to live up to the hype he generated at USC. Maybe this is the year. Trent Richardson. I've liked this kid since he was in college. He came up just shy of 1,000 yards rushing last year, and he has great value receiving the ball out of the backfield. So I think he is pretty much the guy for the Browns. So I really like getting him late in the second round. Victor Cruz. I needed a wide receiver, and his heel injury left him available. 1,000 yards receiving last year, plus 10 touchdowns, made him worth the risk. And I'll tell you something else. Since he catches a ball from a Manning, it was worth the gamble. 